Hey everybody, this is Jafar from Cast Gaming, bringing you some more Shoot Mania content, but this time uh, we are going to be playing with a special guest who is also part of the Cast Gaming family who's going to be bringing content. He, uh, he's uh, When it comes to my real life friends, his name is Jordan, but he uh, his gaming name is definitely going to be Ninja, and uh, yeah, he's going to be playing with us today, so introduce yourself, Jordan. Uh, what's up guys, I'm Ninja. I'll probably be putting out a few videos here and there, um, maybe Shoot Mania related, maybe something else, so... Yeah. But um, one of the big reasons I was wanting to uh, bring content or with Jordan in it for this, uh, or at least this specific episode, god damn it, is um, he uh, he was actually <laughs> able to play Quake Live whenever he was younger. Um, I wasn't a part of that scene at the time, so um, I know in uh, in Quake, um, people always talk about how there were different weapons and stuff like that. But in this game, there's only two. You only have the railgun or the laser and the um, and the rocket launcher. Uh, does it completely change like the gameplay when it comes to having only two weapons compared to I'm pretty sure in Quake Live they had like not really a full arsenal but they definitely had a variety. Well, I mean in Quake, mostly everybody was just going for the rocket launcher. Um, I don't really recall a railgun in the game, but other than that, the games are pretty much the same with like all of the the jump spots and stuff like that. The the one thing that I kind of miss from Quake that this game doesn't have is all of the teleporters. That would be nice. Um, when it came to the teleporters, did they work more of like um, the Halo teleporters where you kind of walk back and forth in and out? Or was it like, I don't know how they worked. Yeah, it was kind of like the Halo teleporters. Okay, and then... Um, There's a lot of them. Gotcha. And did uh, Quake Live have the whole like kind of like skiing concept, which is the uh, the sprinting system in... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So I was able to uh, try that's out the, the That's the main trials. similarity. Oh, okay. Yeah, the main similarity between the two games, I would say, would be the rockets and the movement. For sure. Okay, I gotcha. And those two were pretty much the only reasons why Quake was fun, so... I think Shoot Mania did a good job. Yeah, I definitely think the um, the whole skiing concept and actually adding the uh, the instant gib um, railgun definitely added a uh, um, made it a little bit more fast paced because I know Qu uh, Quake Live was notorious for being extremely fast paced compared to other FPS games. Oh yeah, definitely. But um, but yeah, if everyone's wondering this, um, uh, so far we all um, when it comes to the cast of gaming crew or whatever, we do have me as Jafar, we have uh, Chad. We have uh, Jordan here, who's Ninja, and then we have a friend named Spike, who uh, may end up uploading content, but right now it's just going to be us three. And um, Jordan's going to be interested in doing some speed drawings. He's definitely the, um, I can't even get over this ledge, fuck. Um, it's definitely like the artistic one <laughs> of uh, the group, so he may end up doing like some speed drawings. And then uh, also just like standard gameplay, like we um, we like to bring you, and kind of like how I do TF2 trading tips. Um, there's definitely other games that he is far superior than I am. And uh, he, he'll probably bring you tips playing those, simple build orders for StarCraft 2, maybe. But once again, no promises. Don't want to uh, put put a workload on him whenever he hasn't even agreed <laughs> to that shit. So. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit better at StarCraft 2 before I start trying to teach people how to play it. <laughs> I don't see the issue. Yeah, I mean, I can teach, like, early game, but then once late game, I just fall off. But then, um, also, get you. also down in the comments, if you want to talk about the, um, uh, the League of Legends playoffs, if anyone's been watching that, that's what, um, we've been all hanging out in Ventrilo, watching the League of Legends playoffs and stuff like that. Um, I know a few of us kind of want to start doing League of Legends, um, kind of build orders, or, like, how to play certain roles in League of Legends. And so, if you're really interested in League of Legends content, make sure to comment down below and, uh, you know, say who you were rooting for the whole time. If you don't get to this video until it's over and you already know who won, yeah, sure, you can be biased and pick who you think's the best. But, um, me personally, I'm a huge, uh, Team Dignitas fan, and, uh, I know they were doing pretty horribly, but, you know, definitely a huge, uh, nostalgia effect since they were, um, my, like, by far my favorite team back during, uh, COD 4 Pro Mod. <laughs> it's such a great transition from COD 4 to League of Legends. Uh, we'll get fucked. Uh, God damn it! I never have like a long-lived kill. I just fuck one person up and then get fucked up. That's kind of how this game goes, though. God damn it! I have one replay I need to upload. Uh, it was um, I can't remember if it was rockets or instant give, but either way, I was first place with 50 points. Second place had like 19. Like it was pretty horrific. 
Fuck you! I'm doing pretty decent in this game, but of course everybody else is just doing better. I'm, I'm doing shit. Shit in a bag, to be exact. A bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. You know what, Boo Boy? You need to go suck one. Uh. They definitely cheat. Holy fuck yo, I can't shoot for shit. Well, fuck. Oh, Boo Boy's down in the chat asking people if they want to scrim. I'm assuming uh, he plays for a team. That's probably why he rapes shit at this game. Fuck. I've still yet to play a team game. What, play Elite? You can play Elite. Oh, you wanna play yeah. Elite mode after this, we can. Oh. It's sure. much more fun. But then, uh, but yeah, so pretty much for this episode, guys, this is gonna be, uh, the, kind of the wrap-up. So if you guys wanna make sure to click that like button, make sure to, like, subscribe, stuff like that, and, um, just make sure to comment down if you wanna see more of, uh, kind of a commentary with, uh, Ninja and Jafar, or if you just think we're gonna be better with, uh, solo stuff, but, um, we should be bringing you more content in the future. So, yeah. Have a good one, everybody.